guys, um, day 19, and I am down another 0.2 pounds, which is, yay, exciting that it was a loss. Um, wish it was a little bit more of a loss, but that damn extra muffin that I had sure totally did me in. But it's okay, because it was a delicious muffin. So, uh, yeah, rocked the muffin. Um, also, this morning, made epic frozen yogurt. It was so good. Um, better than any frozen yogurt I've pretty much ever had. I'm not going to lie. Not because I made it, but because I used Greek yogurt to make it and nectarines and orange and it was so good. I put the uh, recipe to it on my Facebook, um, but it was it was really delicious and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to rock lots of, lots of different kinds of recipes with it from now on. And in fact, the next time I do a phage day, I might do a phage frozen yogurt day because it was that good. Um, so yeah, uh, had a little bit of that and, oh my god, so good. Um, I was gonna do a, a, a how-to vlog this morning, uh, show you guys how to make a couple different kinds of salsa, uh, cause I was gonna be making salsa today, but I'll wait to make it till tomorrow till I can find out what happened to my tripod, cause it is MIA right now. I have no idea where it went. I'm just gonna look at my work and see if, uh, maybe they've got some cheap ones, like a cheap one that I can get that will... Uh, tired me over until I find mine just to do some vlogs and stuff, but uh, yeah, I obviously can't do a good vlog on my phone for cooking because I don't know how I would even position that at an angle for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, we'll try and try and get a new i or new tripod just to just to do cooking vlogs with. Um, I was gonna ask you guys. I'm gonna po post it on my Facebook and in the Fat Fast Q and A group that I'm into. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are doing Sunday Fat Fast, and I was wondering how that works out for you, if things are going well. I was thinking about doing Sunday Fat Fast to try and come up with fun recipes for Fat Fast correction days, too. Um, or not not even just correction days, but people who do it regularly just as part of their HCG diet. Um, so I figured the best way for me to come up with recipes for it is to do them. So if I do one every Sunday, um, I can come up with new, new recipes. Um, but I don't want to throw off anything that I've got going on for me this round because I've had a really great round. Uh, so we'll see. Um, also I really, really, really want some jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon because they sound delicious. They are delicious. Um, yesterday I had somebody come into my store and recognize me <laughs> off of Facebook and it totally caught me off guard um but yeah so I was a total spaz when I first met her she said that she recognized me and I was like hey um how are you because I had no idea how to react but it got me to thinking maybe we should do an Alaska HCG meet and greet hey how's it going picnic type deal like they're doing in Oregon because I'm jealous of their picnic type deal down in Oregon. I'm pretty much jealous of Oregon in general because I live in Alaska right now. But I'm going to Oregon in August um, so it'll have to be after that but we should totally try and get something together before the winter comes um, and do some kind of a, a an Alaska HCG buddiesness. We should do it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the, the fat fast. And, uh, if you try the frozen yogurt recipe, let me know what you think about that as well. Or if you have ideas for awesome other variances of it, let me know. Um, but for that, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a great day and, um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye.